everyone, this is Erin with Five Parks Yoga. This class is a highly requested opre ski class. I did not quite feel right about filming it in Costa Rica. So today we are filming in beautiful Crested Butte, Colorado. And um, hopefully this is going to be a really good feel good class because I just got off the slopes and my body is tired and sore and exhausted from several days of hard skiing and several days more to come. So um, this class is gonna focus a lot on low back, quads, some wrists and shoulders. Um, and again, like all of my sports related classes, anyone can do this class, whether you ski or not. Um, it just focuses on those areas of the body. So we're gonna start out in toes pose. My toes and feet are um, stiff and tired from my ski boots, so I think that's a great place to start and I think it'll feel really good in my own body. So, so go ahead and make your way onto your shins and then tuck all 10 toes under. Make sure that each of your toes has contact with your yoga mat. And if it's accessible to you, rest all of your weight back on your heels. If not, you can um, use a prop or a pillow and rest your hips down on that uh, prop. So rest your hands on your thighs, sit up nice and tall, reach through the crown of your head, close your eyes. If that feels comfortable, we'll just take five breaths here. So breathe in through your nose, hold it, release it through your mouth, close your lips and begin to breathe in and out through your nose. Just focus your awareness on the sensation in your toes, the bottoms of your feet, your ankles, your shins. Continue to make each breath in and out a little bit longer and slower. One more breath in toes pose. And then come forward, take your weight onto the palms of your hands and then just gently wiggle out or shake your feet, letting the circulation come back into your toes. Oh, <laughs> my feet are really quite stiff now. Now take your weight back onto um, your heels but now the tops of your feet are flat on the floor and we're just gonna take our hands back behind us and Lift your knees up off the floor. Feel the nice stretch in your shins and your ankles. Continue with your long, slow breathing. We'll just take one more breath here. Feels so good. And then come back onto your shins and make your way to a tabletop position. So plant your palms on your mat, stack your hips over your knees and your shoulders over your wrists. Let's just take a couple cat cows here. So breathe in, drop your belly, lift through the crown of your head and your tailbone, breathe out round your spine. And again, you can go at your own pace. One more of each. And then come back to a flat back. And from here, you're just gonna bump your hips to the left and walk your hands to the right. And then peek out towards your right foot. So you're getting a stretch on your left side. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Walk through center, take your hands to the left and then bump your hips to the right. Feel that stretch in your right side. And come back to center, take your knees wide, bring your toes to touch, hips to heels, extended child's pose, three breaths here. Stretching through the length of your spine, release your forehead onto your mat. 
so you have no tension in your neck. Feel that nice stretch in your low back. And from this position, come into a downward dog. So tuck all 10 toes under again. Lift your hips up, release your heels to your mat. Oh my. Stretch through your calves. Go ahead and begin to pedal your legs, bending one leg at a time. And take the time here to wobble out your head, release tension from the back of your neck. So bring your feet to hip distance apart. Bend your legs a lot. Let your torso rest on your thighs. So bend your legs as much as is needed to make that happen. And then take opposite hand to opposite elbow. Let your head dangle down towards your mat. <clears throat> and then you can, again, rock side to side if that feels good, stretching the backs of your legs as you straighten slowly one leg at a time, mostly focusing on the back side of your body as the weight of your arms and your head start to traction your spine, releasing tension here. Take one more breath. Release your hands down towards your mat and then begin to straighten your legs and lengthen your spine. So come on, coming up to a flat back position, you can have your hands anywhere that's accessible to you. And this time moving into Uttanasana or standing forward fold, focusing on the stretch in the backs of your legs. So it's okay if your legs aren't quite straight yet, but we want to get a nice stretch in the hamstrings. And then just two more times as you breathe in, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Again. On your next breath in, come up with a flat back to tall mountain. So you can sweep your arms off to the side, reach both arms up overhead, and then encircle your left wrist with your right hand, and then side bend to the right. So you're just gonna get a nice stretch in your left side. Come back to center and take it to the opposite side. So encircle your right wrist with your left hand and side bend to the left. Feel the stretch in your right side. Come back to center, breathe in. And then exhale, forward fold. So you can hinge at your hips, come down again with a long flat back. Inhale, make your way to monkey pose or halfway lift, lengthen your spine again. Exhale, fold. And then keep your right foot where it is and step your left foot way back into a wide-legged low lunge. So if you want to, you can even take your right foot a little bit further out toward the right side of your mat, and then release your left knee down onto the floor. Take the top of your foot flat to the floor and come down onto your forearms if that's accessible. If not, stay up on your hands. Take another full breath here in this position. If you are down on your forearms, come back up onto your hands. And then take your right foot, take it out to an angle so your right toes are pointing toward the right, about 45 degrees here. And then take your right hand to your right knee and start to press your knee open. So you're gonna roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. And then you can twist in your spine and look to the right. <clears throat> Exhale here. Bend your left leg, reach your right hand around for your left foot. So continuing to twist in the spine, now you're gonna get a quadricep stretch as well. So you're stretching the front of your left leg. Gently release your left foot back down onto your mat. Heel toe your right foot back to center. And then from here, go ahead and take your hands, 
Place them on top of your right thigh, interlace your fingers, and start to press your hands into your right thigh and stretch up. So you're opening the front line of your body. Feel the stretch in your left hip flexor and continuing to stretch all the way down through your left quadricep. Now reach both arms up overhead. So this is crescent moon pose. And right away, you're gonna take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, stretch through your shoulders and your chest. Maybe look up. Come back to center and then place your hands on either side of your right foot and begin to straighten your right leg. Half splits pose. You can fold over your right leg and then option to flex your toes back towards your face so you feel a stretch in the back side of your right leg or your right calf, your right Achilles tendon. Then make your way forward to a low lunge position. So with your back toes tucked, lift your left knee up off the floor, place your hands flat to the floor and step back to downward facing dog. Take one breath. Lift both heels high, as high as you can, and then take both heels and place them to the right. So feel a stretch through the left side of your body. Lift both heels high, and then release both heels to the left. Feel a stretch along the right side of your body. Both heels high. Release them back down to your mat so that you're in downward facing dog. And then once again, look toward your hands and walk your feet to the front of your mat. Breathe in, come up to a flat back. Exhale, fold. And then one time, breathe into tall mountain. And then exhale, side moon to the right. So you're, now you're gonna slide your right hand, right arm down your right leg. Lean to the right, both arms up overhead. Left hand down, lean to the left. Both arms up overhead. This time take your hands behind your back. Inhale, chest expansion. Exhale, fold with the chest expansion. So hinging from your hips, let your arms come up and over the back of your head. Hold here, breathe in. And out. On your next breath in, come up to a halfway lift, release your hands down toward your mat, and then exhale, come down into ball of yarn. So you're gonna lift your heels, come in down into a little squat. So you're stretching your feet again and your quadriceps. On your next breath in, keep your heels lifted and lift your hips up. So you're in a fold with lifted heels and then exhale, release your heels. Keep your left foot where it is and step your right foot way back on your mat, wide-legged low lunge. If you want your lunge a little bit wider, you can take your foot further toward your left, the left side of your mat. Release your knee down. Stay up on your hands or come down onto your forearms. And we'll hold here for a couple of breaths. All right, take your left foot, take your toes further to the left. Come back up onto your hands if you're not already. And then take your left hand to your left knee and start to press your left knee open as you roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Release your left knee and then bend your right leg. Reach your left hand around for your right foot. So you're twisting in your spine now and you're getting a quadricep stretch and a hip flexor stretch in your right leg. So you can start to look toward your left toes. Good. 
Gently release your right foot down towards your mat. Place your hand back down onto the floor. Now heel toe your left foot toward center. And then we're gonna come into half splits pose. So start to straighten your left leg. Fold over your left leg. And then option to flex your foot back so you feel a stretch in your Achilles tendon and your calf. And you feel a stretch in your hamstring either way. And then make your way forward so that your left knee comes right over your left ankle. Take both hands, place them on your left knee. Now interlace your fingers and then press your hands into your knees so that you can open up the front side of your body, as well as getting that great stretch in your right leg, the front of your right leg. Now just for a breath in, reach both arms up overhead. This is crescent moon pose. So reach through your fingertips, maybe look up, and then take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers for chest expansion. Take your hands, slide them down the back of your leg. Open your shoulders and your chest. And then come forward, place your hands on your mat. Tuck your toes under if they're not. Lift your knee, step back, down dog. Take one breath in through your nose, out through your nose. Come back down onto your shins, bring your knees to touch, separate your heels, and then sit your hips between your heels for hero pose. If this is too much for your knees and your thighs, you can sit on a block or a pillow. If you wanna take it deeper, you can recline. So try to keep your knees coming toward one another so you're strengthening the inner thighs as you stretch the tops of your legs. So you can come back onto your hands or your forearms. You can come all the way down onto your back if you want. And then option to lift your arms up overhead. Take opposite hand toward opposite elbow. Take one more breath here. If you're reclined, come all the way back up. And then make your way forward onto your hands and knees and walk your feet back toward the back of your mat. We're gonna take tortoise pose. So bring your um, feet and knees to touch. Sit your hips back on your heels. Lift both arms up overhead. Connect the palms of your hands. Cross your thumbs. Breathe in. And then exhale, you're gonna start reaching your hands towards the front of your mat. Reach, 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 reach until your pinkies come to touch your mat. And then keep your arms nice and long and extended and you can release your forehead down towards your mat, but keep your arms lifted and engaged. Big stretch for the backside of your body and your shoulders. Inhale, come all the way up, flat back, straight arms. Exhale, release your hands to your mat. You're gonna make your way all the way down onto your stomach. So just walk your hands forward, lower down. Take your feet to hip distance apart. Take your hands behind your back for chest expansion. Interlace your fingers and then inhale, lift your chest up off the floor. Option to lift your feet up off the floor. One more breath. 
release down. Take your forearms onto your mat, wrists in line with elbows, and then begin to lift through the crown of your head. Press your chest forward. This is called Sphinx Pose. I'm gonna get a nice upper back stretch now. So release your uh, shoulders by your ears. So go ahead and sink down and release your chin to your chest. And then gently rock your head side to side. Make your way back to tall sphinx, so lifting through the crown of your head. And then back to child's pose. So take your knees wide to the outer edges of your mat, feet together, hips to heels. Okay, we're gonna take a stretch for the back of the shoulder. So keep your right arm extended and then slide your left arm underneath your right. Come onto the outer edge of your left shoulder and bring your left ear to the floor. So you're resting your, the entire weight of your head on your mat. Exhale here. And then we'll switch sides. So take your left arm long, slide your right arm underneath your left, come to your right shoulder, right ear. Extend your right arm long, stretch back one more time. Then come all the way up, cross over your ankles. So make your way down onto your back, take your feet to mat distance apart. We're gonna release the low back here. So rest your head down and bring your arms into a goalpost position with your palms facing up. Start to rock your legs back and forth to the right to the left, and again, a couple more times. Come back to center. Extend your left leg long on your mat. Draw your right knee into your chest. Take your hands around your knee, bring your knee to the right up toward your right shoulder. Now flex both feet back and bring your elbows in and down towards your mat. So hips and shoulders should be flat on the floor. Exhale, squeeze a little bit tighter. Come back to center, extend your right leg up Take your hands behind your right leg and then just flex and point your right foot. Doing lots for the feet and ankles and shins. Take a circle in one direction and in the other direction. And then maybe walk your hands a little bit further up the back of your right leg for a nice deep hamstring stretch. And then let's make our way to reclined pigeon pose. So bend your left foot or left leg, take your left foot to the floor, cross your right ankle over your left knee, and then lift your left foot up off the floor. So you can take your hands around the back of your left thigh or your left shin. Big squeeze in here. One more breath. Release your left foot to the floor. We're gonna take a twist from this position. So you're gonna bring your right foot to the left. And again, you can have your hands at goalpost or T, whatever feels comfortable. Stamp your foot to the floor. If this twist variation isn't comfortable for you, you can always just stack your knees or whatever feels good. Just a nice release for your low back.
back to center and we'll take those stretches on the other side. So this time extend your right leg long, flat to the floor. Pull your left knee in, take your hands around your knee, bring it off to the left and up toward your left shoulder. Flex your feet back. Keep shoulders and hips flat to the floor, elbows in and down. It's really good for your left hip. And bring your left leg back towards center and begin to straighten it up and take your hands around the back of your left leg. All right, so flex and point your left foot. Circles in one direction and in the other direction. Take your hands a little bit further up the back of your left leg, even if it's just a millimeter, just deepen the stretch in your left hamstring, keeping your right leg flat to the floor. And then you're gonna cross your left ankle over your right knee. So bend your right leg, place your foot flat to the floor. Once your ankle's crossed over your knee, you can lift your right foot up off the floor. Take hold of the back of your right thigh or the front of your right shin here in reclined pigeon. Place your right foot back on the floor and then you're gonna twist. So take your left foot to the right, place it on the floor Try to keep your shoulders flat to the floor. So if you need a different variation of twist, feel free to take that and whatever arm variation feels good, either cactus or T. And come back to center. Let's take knees to chest pose. So try to get your toes, heels, knees side by side, and then reach your arms around your legs, taking opposite hand toward opposite elbow, and then pressing your low back down toward the floor. Now, if that's not accessible, if you're really tight in your hips, no worries. You can always just take your hands and take hold of your knees and just start to draw them closer to your chest. Okay, one last stretch for the hips and inner thighs. Happy baby pose. You can separate your legs now and take hold of your thighs or your calves, your ankles, your feet, your toes, whatever is accessible to you. Start to draw the tops of your legs, your quadriceps, down toward the floor. And then if it feels good on your spine, you can rock side to side. It's just a little massage for your back. If it feels good for your inner thighs, you can begin to straighten your legs so you're in like a, a reclined straddle position. We didn't do too much for the inner thighs today, so this is your chance. Mostly focused on those tight, Sore quads and hips and feet. All right, one last squeeze in. And make your way to Shavasana. If you've been skiing all day like I have, you might want, feel like you want to fall asleep. This is your chance to just relax your body. There's no relaxing in skiing. So Take advantage of this moment. Let your feet fall open, your palms face up. You can kind of tuck your shoulder blades underneath you and lengthen the back of your neck. Close your eyes, breathe in through your nose. Big open mouth, exhale. And 
And then just come back to the natural rhythm of your breath. Shavasana if you have more time. Thank you so much for joining me for this Opera C class today. And then today or this evening as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart from my heart to yours. Namaste.